This is your Weather Extreme video for Saturday, December the 26th. I'm meteorologist Brian Peters. Thanks for tuning in. The weather pattern across the eastern part of the country continues to feature a southwesterly flow pattern with a trough in the southwestern states, and that is keeping us rather moist with the good gulf flow out of at the surface as well as a great flow out of the Pacific uh, at upper levels. At the surface, we are uh, seeing a frontal system lying well to our north, and that is keeping us in a southerly flow with high pressure off to the east. Temperatures across the eastern uh, half of the country generally pretty warm. You can see the temperatures across the uh, southeastern U.S. generally in the 60s, and uh, we get uh, some colder air when we get up into the north central part of the United States and into the uh, northern Rockies. Temperatures across central Alabama this morning once again remaining very mild as temperatures are, are uh, setting records. We established record highs at Birmingham, Anniston, and Tuscaloosa yesterday and we're likely to establish record highs at those locations today. Temperatures this morning which typically this time of year should be somewhere in the uh, mid and upper 30s and we're in the mid 60s. The uh, Composite uh, radar over the southeastern U.S. showing that most of the rain has moved away from us now as, as things have shifted a little bit to the north, and that's good, uh, reducing the threats for flash flooding. However, that has moved the threats for flash flooding uh, to the north and northwest of us with lots of, uh, that's the green area you see running from northeast Texas across Arkansas and Missouri up into Indiana, Illinois, and parts of Ohio. So uh, the, the reds and pinks and uh, purples are winter weather advisories. So a lot, if you're planning travel for uh, this Christmas season and especially the new year heading home, uh, you need to take into account the weather. QPF-wise, the quantitative precipitation forecast, we're looking at uh, on the order of another uh, one to three inches of rain possible over the next five days. Most of that expected to come with the main weather system on Monday. Storm Prediction Center is out looking a slight risk over parts of southeastern Oklahoma and central Texas primarily. For day two, that will be Sunday into early Monday. Uh, the risk is over the lower Mississippi River Valley focused primarily on Louisiana. And then for day three, which is Monday into early Tuesday, we have a slight risk primarily over the southwestern uh, corner of the state of Alabama as well as a little bit of the northwest Florida Peninsula and a little bit of southeast Mississippi. That is surrounded by a marginal risk. We'll talk about uh, what the threats are in uh, look, when we look at the models in just a minute. All right, let's to get to the 06 GFS model run. And there's our surface pattern featuring the high off to the east, and that is giving us a great uh, surface flow out of the Gulf uh, with strong southerly wind. And then we have uh, the lows forming over northern Mexico and Texas. Those lows are expected to move out into Texas uh, on uh, Sunday, uh, and as they do in the upper atmosphere, we see that this closed low will be moving out across Texas and across the central Mississippi River Valley uh, on Monday. So uh, Monday, that thing moves up into Missouri, and as it does, of course, the surface low moves up into Missouri as well, and we see that the uh, front is being pushed uh, into the southeastern U.S. and across Alabama. Now, looking at the European, the European and the GFS basically right on the mark with one another, both in the position of the low as well as the position of the front. So uh, good confidence in the forecast. And um, Cape values are certainly sufficient for severe weather on Monday. This is a look at uh, the Cape values at uh, 12Z. That'll be first thing in the morning around 6 a.m. on Monday morning. And indeed, uh, the values uh, are on the order of 600, and those are certainly sufficient for severe weather. I know the SPC is confining the uh, outlook area primarily to the, the Gulf Coast, but uh, I think we need to be uh, uh, cognizant of the fact that the values go even further than that. And also, uh, we need to uh, recognize, too, that shear values are also up there. Uh, the storm relative helicity values for 12Z on Monday indicate values uh, above 300. So we definitely are going to be need to watch that for the development of severe weather. The good news is that with that front, we are going to finally tap into some drier air, uh, as you can see on the precipitable water chart that will be coming in behind uh, this front. Now that won't be immediate. That will be a little bit later in the week. The uh, pattern Tuesday, uh, the, the main upper low 
uh, goes out across the Great Lakes, and another low is coming into the southwestern U.S., and uh, so what happens is we tend to come under uh, weak high pressure behind the front, and that means that on Tuesday we probably won't see much in the way of showers, maybe a lingering shower or two. That trough comes out of the southwest U.S. on Wednesday, so we're still in a southwesterly flow pattern. So that means we're going to stay warm, and also I think we'll see a good chance for showers and thunderstorms once again on Wednesday. That will extend into Thursday as the pattern finally begins to show some signs of changing. So we see the shower chances diminishing on Thursday, and then by Friday, finally we're getting the trough over into the eastern half of the country, so that is going to change our flow from a southwesterly flow, which is a warm one, to a northwesterly flow, which is going to be much colder. And uh, we see that we have surface high over the Texas panhandle, and that is uh, allowing the air into the southeastern U.S. to come from north-central U.S. and uh, the south-central Canada area. By Saturday, the trough is very well established, and that means that by Saturday, we should begin to see some pretty chilly temperatures as temperatures drop back to values that are much more uh, seasonal for us with uh, lows in the 30s and highs primarily in the 40s or perhaps even lower 50s. And um, going out into uh, voodoo country, uh, the pattern remains uh, uh, pretty coolish into the first part of January. This is uh, 18Z uh, on uh, Monday, January the uh, 4th. And the pattern then after that actually becomes a little more zonal. So we will be returning to something a little more typical for early January. That'll do it for the Weather Extreme video for this morning. Uh, I expect to have the next one posted here first thing on Sunday morning. In the meantime, stay tuned to the vlog for notes on Alabama's weather. And uh, just a reminder, we are on a one-a-day schedule uh, through early January. I'm meteorologist Brian Peters. Have a great Saturday and Godspeed.